uh, an endangered bird, but still quite common in the great game parks of Africa, the, the ground hornbill. So over, over their whole population, they are quite endangered. Are those geese chasing? No, they're just flying. Um, and we've got quite a few different birds here on the edge of the Samaki Swamp. There we go. There's a sacred ibis in, in flight. Mm, very, very pretty. And we can hear some Egyptian geese making a hellabaloo behind us somewhere, but we've got some woolly neck storks as well feeding out in the marsh. And it's quite nice to see the ground hornbills, actually. They, they're out in the edge of the water. Oh, woolly neck storks left a little bit. A bit more left. There we go. So you can see the, the reeds there. So the ground hornbills are right on the edge of the water while the woolly neck stalk will actually go into the water to feed. And I was hoping that we'd be able to get a little bit closer. I thought the water might be a bit closer, but it's still quite deep into the some mucky swamp. And we've got another flock of sacred ibis and with some woolly neck stalks quite far out into the distance there. You can see that little white spot. What else have we got? No, just, oh, there we go. A great white egret as well. And a, sp a yellow bull stalk as well. Oh, we've got a few more there. Yay. Yellow bull stalk, a great white egret. Let's have a look a little bit to the left. What have we got there? Uh, what is that? Uh, another woolly neck stalk. Can you see some buffalo and water buck in the background? Ah, there's a cattle egret next to the buffalo. It is just truly a magnificent part of the world from a visual point of view. I mean, just look at that escarpment in the swamp. It's just, it's just gorgeous, I say. It's gorgeous. Oh, wait, we've got some... Right, let's go round, roundy, roundy. Are they going to escape? Oh, they've gone. Uh, I'm sure we'll find some more just now. Egyptian geese making a lot of noise flying around. Now, I'm hoping as we go further along the swamp, we are going to get to a place where we can get closer. Now, as we get further and further into the little rains before the big rains, and uh, I'm very excited for the big rains, in fact, because once all these swamps and stuff are, are full, the amount of birds, and birds we've probably, well, we've definitely not seen live before, uh, the different crakes and rails and snipes uh, that are going to descend on this part of the world are going to be truly magnificent. Now, uh, let's have a quick look here. Now, uh, I saw some crown cranes flying in this direction. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, I'm going to keep searching for birds, and it seems like uh, the only bird on drive, being Taylor, can't... Well, actually, let me rephrase that. Uh, uh, the only bird on drive, Taylor McCurdy, is not competitive at all. So she's definitely not looking at birds right now.